Okay, if y'all come to order, we're going to start the meeting here in just a minute. Okay, I'd like to welcome y'all to state government for the first time this year. Brand new for me and brand new for my clerk, so please cut us a little bit of slack, okay? Uh, okay, uh, clerk, please call the roll. Representative Sells? Here. Representative Betzel? Here. Representative Rogers? Here, present. Dr. Boyd? Here. Representative Butler? Here. Representative Chestnut? Representative Cole? Representative Keel? Here. Representative Kirkland? Here. Representative Lawrence? Representative Paramore? Here. Representative Shaw? Here. Representative Stahagen? Representative Wood? Representative Yarborough? Here. We have a quorum. Okay, thank you. I would like to uh, thank our new members and, and uh, appreciate your serving on this committee. Uh, we're going to do things a little different. So when we have a public hearing and you come in and sign for a public hearing, there's going to be reserved seating markers on the first two rows of these seats on this side. So if you're going to speak at a public hearing, I'm going to ask for you to sit over there so you'll be up quick up and quick down right there. Uh, and if you have any questions anytime, you can you can just let me know, know later. Okay, our first bill today is going to be HB5 by Representative Betzel. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman, if it's okay, uh, I'll present from here if that's yes, okay sir, with that's you. Fine. Uh, members of the committee, what I have here uh, is a bill that was uh, passed under the House last year, simply that it designates a specific day, which will be the first Friday in May, as Alabama Peace Officers Memorial Day. This would further allow our state fraternal order of police the opportunity to hold a yearly memorial service that they have been conducting for some time on the south lawn of the Capitol that coincidentally is under the direction and control of the Alabama State Legislature. So we do have the authority to allow that to occur. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I was under the impression there was an amendment that I was going to introduce. Did we have that amendment delivered to us? Uh, okay. Perfect. Yes, we do right here. Okay. Well, with that being said, at the appropriate time, Mr. Chairman, I would like to uh, introduce an um, amendment to this uh, this bill, please. Yeah, go ahead and read the amendment if you would. Okay, very simple. It's just a clarification and, and wording uh, type amendment. We're going to replace lines through. Twelve on page one, with the following amendment. Okay, do we have a motion on the bill? Any questions on the bill? Okay, uh, we have a... Okay, okay. Okay, all in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? Okay, your bill passes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, members of the committee. Okay, next bill is we're going we're gonna to carry over HB 20. I'm sorry, hold on. Okay, Representative Brown, if you would, let's go ahead and start on HB 23. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. I have HB 23, and what this does is a volunteer fire departments and rescue squadrons. Uh, a few years ago, the examiner of public accounts issued an opinion that they couldn't buy uh, Gatorades, water, food, things for the firehouse uh, out of a general fund that they had to have a separate fund raising money for that, or they had to bring their own. So to me, that, that goes in the realm of absurdity when you're asking a firefighter out there risking his life to bring his own Gatorade to a fire. And so what this does is an effort to, uh, to amend that where it allows those volunteer fire departments to buy Gatorades, waters, food, 
in the process of of their actions. If you're out there working, then then they can provide that for you. Or if you have something go out at the firehouse, um, they're still subject to the audits that they take every year and exam of public accounts. And there also is a provision in the back that uh, that would allow uh, volunteer firefighters who often use their their vehicles to go to a fire, it allows them to uh, apply for a tax credit uh, on their state income taxes. Okay. And that's done in an effort to, on the recruiting side. We're, oh, okay, we have a sub for this bill. Yeah, I'm right? sorry. This okay. is, I'm talking about okay. the sub. Yeah. Okay, I thought you were. Let's go ahead and adopt the sub. Can I get a motion to adopt the sub? Okay, okay. Okay, so now we're on the sub. Okay, continue, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I've kind of described the sub, so <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I got ahead of myself. Uh, so what this does, really, the only, it, it recruiting is down across the state when it comes to volunteer firefighters and the rescue squadrons. And this is just an effort to, you know, they're out there fighting fires and saving lives. I mean, in my own district, uh, I have one fire department that covers 20 miles of interstate. And they've had fires where they've had chemical spills and they're out there for over 24 hours and they can't provide them with Gatorade or a meal. That's that's that just doesn't make sense. Well, this is an effort to correct that. That's right. And you mentioned that it was dangerous. Well, it's also they're donating their time. That's, that's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Is there uh, any questions? Do we have a motion? Okay. All in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? It's in your book. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, members of the committee. Thank you. Okay, next is HB 49 by Representative Chairman Ingram. I'm sorry. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, committee. Uh, HB 49 is a bill that is uh, created by our state treasurer, Young Boozer, and it just has an opportunity, this bill would have it to where the state has an investment pool for counties and municipalities and, and uh, agencies that are, are uh, affiliated and public entities. And um, the interest rate has been down. There's no been not any moot need for it or mood for it in the past, but now interest rates is up. Uh, 38 other states are doing the same thing. It goes back 50 years, and uh, it's something that um, – a lot of your municipalities, especially with this money, COVID money, relief money sitting in there, they're not getting any interest, uh, very little, or just sitting in their checking account. This gives them the opportunity to be able to pool the money with the state. They can pull it out at any time, uh, no penalty, like you would have to get a CD with, and uh, to be able to get a, a good return on that money. It gives them the option. Not a mandatory, just the option. Any questions? I'll be glad to, to see if I can help any, but no questions for approval okay this is a friendly amendment okay this be a time go ahead please okay sounds like it makes sense to me okay can we get a copy of it please anyone have any questions on the amendment Uh, Representative Butler, can you repeat that amendment for me again, please? It's a friendly amendment, Chairman. Yes, sir. Okay. Give us just a second. Anybody look it over if you have any questions? Kevin, you okay? Representative Lawrence, you okay? You okay. Okay. Anyone have a motion on the amendment? Okay, we have a motion. Is there a second? Okay, we have a second. All in favor of the amendment say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, your amendment passes. Okay, uh, so now we're looking for a motion on this legislation as amended. So moved. Oh, is it substituted or? No, ma'am, just amended. Just this amendment. So. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll, I'll make the motion, Mr. Chairman. Okay, we have a, a motion and a second by. Um, okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay, thank you, Bill Pass. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, members. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, it was. 
said so. Yes, as amended. As amended, yes. Butler. 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 Oh, okay. That's fine. Okay, sorry about that. Butler, did you second? Okay, we're up to HB 51 for Representative Ellis. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, and being respectful of your time, I'll um, I'll, I'll keep this pretty. It's not going to take long. Yeah, and, and and then and then if there's any questions, I'll answer. So I'll just hit the, the high notes. But as you know, this will increase the uh, competitive bid limit threshold from 15,000 uh, to 30,000. Also, in, uh, put a consumer price index in there, so we don't have to come back and do this every time starting in 27, and then three years after that. Uh, it also uh, changes um, if if a bid exceeds the anticipated budget for a city or county that they can negotiate uh, with the bidder as long as it's lower than the original bid. If no bids are received, they can use informal uh, bidding, uh, just like in the public works law currently has. It codifies um, the purchase of goods and services between governmental entities. Attorney General has ruled that that's, that's okay or given an opinion that that's okay, so this just codifies that. Um, also codifies the practice of buying from the state uh, bid list. Uh, and lastly, um, it allows in times of emergency to not put things out to bid if uh, you can document uh, two quotes and the need, explain the need of the emergency. Um, with, with that, Mr. Chairman, I'll entertain any questions. Okay, anyone have any questions? Motion for favorable report. Okay, motion by Representative Bedsoe, second by Representative Butler. Okay, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, your bill passes. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Mr. Good bill. Thank you, committee members. Okay, we're up to HB 89. That would be me. Okay, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Vice Chairman Betso. Yes, sir. Chair recognize uh, Chairman Sales for HB 89. Okay, what this bill does is... Uh, Clarifies is the rule of the uh, the uh, if I can find my bill. Uh, okay, it uh, thank you. It revises the definition of rule in the Administrative Procedure Act, and uh, it simply it doesn't all it does is make some rules have to go back through the rule changing process and makes it swear Intral government processes can't be changed by a memo, but they have to go back through the rule changing process. Is there any questions? Motion is made for favorable report. We have second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Your bill has been passed. I will turn the chairmanship back over to you, Mr. Okay. Chairman. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Looks like we survived the first one. Thank you very much for your patience. And we're adjourned. <laughs>